Last week I had a question from one of you guys about updating one of my videos about apps for iPhone audio recording. And so in this video, that's what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna actually show some apps that I like, some criteria for why I like them and why I chose them, and uh, to make a sort of a recommendation as to which one might be most suitable for you. Hey there, my name is Carl Kwan. If you've never been here before, EduTeach Microphones makes microphones that will help you boost your sound. And on this channel, we give you tips, tricks, and how-tos to get great audio for whether or not you're using a GoPro, a DSLR, a mirrorless camera, an iPhone, or an Android phone. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon as well so you don't miss out on any future videos. Okay, let's dig right into it. I'm actually gonna switch over to my iPhone screen so you can see exactly what I am doing and which apps I'm using on my phone. And I'll also be using the, um, I, the um, EIM001 as my test microphone, as my test subject for all of this. All right, so here we go. Okay, so here is my iPhone, and because it's an iPhone 6, I do, I, I do, I don't have to, but I am going to use the lightning connector cable so that you guys who are using newer iPhones will know exactly what it is like to use this, all right? So first of all, I have the adapter, connect that directly to my phone here, uh, and then of course my very trusty EIM001. I'm not going to use the windscreen on it just so you can see what it looks like on my phone here, all right? So let's just plug Plug that in and there we go okay so that's what it looks like so now let's actually go in and I'll record the screen on my phone and uh, that way I'll sync the uh, audio from my phone together with this I'm gonna leave this dangling I will maybe hold it just so you can get a better sense of what it's like all right, so now we're recording from my iPhone and uh, I'm actually recording the audio as well. So I'm recording directly with the EIM001 into my phone. This is the video file. So you can see here, I've got 10 different apps on my phone as well as a photo of my kid and my wife there too. Uh, so the voice memos app, that is the built-in um, app from Apple. Uh, that is an actually really great app, really simple to use. And so I guess maybe I should talk a little bit about the criteria that I had for creating this video and for choosing the apps that I did. One of the criteria is that it has to be super easy to use the app. It can't be one where I need to dig through menus, I need to figure out things, I need to you know, guess exactly how to use it. It needs to be pretty intuitive. So that also means that the design, the interface, should also be pretty simple. It shouldn't be something that takes me a lot of time and effort to figure out and to know what to push. Uh, the other thing also is, uh, for me, I think that is important, is the size of the app. If it's a huge download, I don't know why I would want that on my phone. I want something simple, small, lightweight, that doesn't take up a lot of space. The other criteria I had is uh, the recording format. So what type of files I can record. Now because I usually make videos with my iPhone, if I'm going to be recording audio with it, uh, I want to make sure that I can record in a WAV format. That would be the highest um, quality format. And also with that format, I also want to make sure that it is um, the, uh, the 44.1 megahertz as well. So I'm getting good high quality audio. So most of these apps can record to MP3s or M4As, which are the typical um, iPhone um, formats, uh, but I want to make sure they can record into WAV format too. All right. Uh, and so the other uh, criteria for that, obviously, is sound quality. So if I'm recording with one of those apps, I want to make sure that it actually sounds good. All right. Uh, and the final consideration for me is price. Are these apps free? Are they uh, freemium? And if so, how much are they? I kind of put a cap on the price of the app to uh, $7 US. So uh, all of these apps can be under that or free, okay, that I've recommended. So let's have a look at some of the apps here, all right? So one thing that's really important before I get started here is to make sure that I've put my phone into airplane mode. Uh, I wasn't doing that earlier, so that might cause some issues with uh, interference and static from uh, the Wi-Fi um, antenna and also the Bluetooth as well. So putting your phone into airplane mode will eliminate any chance that your audio will get messed up and also so that no one calls or um, you know, sends you a text message while you're trying to make a video. All right, so let's have a look. So the very first app is the Voice Memos app. Now, what I like about this app is that it is super simple. It is just one button, you hit record, and there you go. So now I'm recording directly to the phone. Now, one cool thing about the iPhone app that I didn't know about is that you can actually change the quality. So if you were to get out of this, I hope this still works when I get out of this. Uh, if you were to get out of this and you go into settings, 
and you find the voice memos app here and you go into call in the audio quality you can choose lossless which is the highest quality possible so that's what I would do if I were using my iPhone's uh, built-in voice memos app to do that so this was the audio quality from that really super simple to use if I jump back into it and stop okay that is I think the simplest way to record audio if you're using an iPhone is to use the built-in app. It's also free. It works really well. No, it does not record into WAV, so it doesn't have that as far as uh, one of the uh, one of my requirements or my criteria. But for a simple to use, easy, and you know, pretty good app, that's what I would go for. So let's have a look at the next app on my list here, which is the TW Recorder. Now, TW Recorder, I actually didn't see it in the App Store. I've had this on my phone for quite a long time. So this one here. It is also pretty good um, if I go into here. Now, how this works is you have to press this plus button here and then choose whatever the um, setting you want. So 44.1, uh, usually you just push stereo uh, and access microphone, okay. And then you can press record and there you go. So input gain, you can adjust this. So right now the input is really hot. So I want to just reduce the input gain, maybe even more so or just hold the microphone a little bit further away. Uh, let's see here, there we go. Okay, so there. So because this microphone is quite sensitive, I've actually turned down the input gain almost all the way down. And I'm not trying to speak too loud too, just to make sure that it isn't distorting. Uh, but with the, I, with the um, uh, Apple's built-in voice memos app, I couldn't control the, uh, the input gain. So perhaps that might've been a little bit hot, uh, but you can listen and see what you think. So this one here is kind of cool because it shows the waveforms just like it did in the other one. Uh, and then you just stop it here. You can also monitor. This little thing here, monitor, if you plug in headphones, you can actually listen to what you are recording as you are recording. So let's just stop this. Okay, so once you stop it, I believe it is a matter of selecting this little icon up at the top here for any kind of sharing. So I've got it set here as wave 16 bits. You can send a link. And I believe that some of these options that are shown here are actually paid. You have to get the sort of full version. Now, because it's an older app, I actually don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was probably over the price point. So let's not use this one. All right, so you've heard how that one sounds, the TW Recorder. The next one on the list here is a Voice Recorder Lite. Voice Recorder Lite, it says upgrade to Pro, which I will not do, but it gives you some different options uh, for using Dropbox sharing, and um, I believe that um, it's also auto-uploading, it says, but that's really unnecessary. The free version works just fine. So what I like about this is that you just have to press on settings. I've already selected to record quality to high, which is the 44.1, as I mentioned, as one of my criteria and also recording format to WAVE, but also does the M4A. CAF, I'm actually not too sure what that is, but it's also one of the uh, more common formats that I've seen. All right, so there we go. That's what it is there. So if you go back to recorder here, and it says access microphone, so yes. All right, there we go. So now we are recording directly with the um, uh, audio, record, audio recorder app, audio recorder light app and this is what it sounds like with the EIM-001. I can see the audio meter is really simple, nice interface. I like how this looks actually, so this is pretty cool. So let's just stop this, there's a pause and a stop, so we press stop. Recording saved successfully, thank you, and we are done. So now, I have no idea where my file is. <laughs> Did I, I have no idea where it is. So this is quite interesting. I'm hoping it's here. There we go. Okay, you press voice memos. It actually is in there. So that's where it is saved to. So not super intuitive uh, because you don't actually know where the uh, where it's saved to, but I wish that didn't say voice memos. I wish it would just said recordings or files. Anyhow, okay, so that was number two. Now this AVR, I'm not even gonna open this because it is so annoying. I definitely do not re recommend this. It's awesome voice recorder, but it is far from awesome. And I will open just to show you what it does. Every single time I've opened this, it has a ton of ads. It's not showing them right now because I have it in airplane mode, but when I had it just off, there were just ads popping up all over the place. It kept asking me to upgrade. It was really annoying. Plus, it looks really simple, but it's just really difficult to do all the settings. I mean, look at all the different settings that it has here. Yes, if you want something more complicated, this could be good for you, but honestly, this is just way too much work to kind of figure out. So I do not recommend 
Um, this one, awesome voice recorder, it could be awesome for some people, but it's not awesome for me. All right, now, the next one is actually one of my favorites because it is so simple and it, I believe it is called TW Recorder. It says recorder on here, but if you open it up, um, I believe it was TW Recorder. And what I like about it is this, the simple, simple interface. It tells you exactly the format. It tells you the sample rate you're recording at, how much space is available, how much time is available, and it's just a simple stop and record button. All right, so now we're recording. This is the EIM-001 going into my iPhone 6 with uh, the TW Recorder app, and this is what it sounds like. I really like this because it is just so simple to use, and I like the pause, and I like the stop button, really clear, really simple interface, and so let's just stop it. It has also the criteria for the types of file format and the quality that I was looking for, so let's stop this. So you heard how that sounded, and then now here is the file. Really simple, you go into there. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's not the file, that is the uh, settings. So you only need to look at um, the wave settings here, or AAC settings, uh, and then of course your sample rate, and I always put it at 44,100 uh, hertz, or 44 kilohertz, and there you go. So that is that. Now, as far as where the recording is, I'm guessing you just press this play button here, and there you go. So that shows you where the files are. So pretty intuitive, tells you where everything is. The options here to fast forward and to uh, go back in time, 10 seconds or 60 seconds, that's actually pretty cool, I like that. And also you can adjust the speed, so you don't have to listen to the whole thing at one time speed if it gets really long, like this video is kind of getting now. Okay, that is uh, those apps. Now, the other one that, um, you know, I won't go through all of these, honestly, I think that most of them are pretty similar. I think those four that I've mentioned are pretty good. Um, this one here, Audio Recorder, this also has a fairly simple interface. It kind of looks like a, a digital recorder, so it's pretty simple. Again, uh, you know, 44.1 kilohertz, tells you the storage remaining. Now, let's just have a look at the settings here, if I can adjust the uh, file type. So recording file type, again, there is the wave file type that I'm looking for. So I uh, wasn't gonna do this obviously, but here we go. So now we can see, ooh, look at that, little graphic equalizer thing there happening. So you can do that. You can also, I guess, have it in these bars. You can also do these sort of waves or this other little bouncy thing as well. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Uh, let me know how this one sounds. What do you think of this particular uh, voice recorder? Let me know what you think, all right? So that is uh, the audio recorder. Save file, okay. Ooh, all right. So this one here, when you press stop, you it does say, do you wanna save the file? It gives you the option not to save it, but I'd like it when you stop it, it saves it automatically, so you don't have to think about whether or not you saved it. So that is audio recorder. Now, voice recorder, they're all so similar, it's, it's so funny. Uh, but anyway, voice recorder looks like an old style tape cassette machine, uh, which is, yeah, okay. So this, it's, okay, let me just skip all this stuff here. And again, see, it's trying to sell you all this other stuff, so I don't really like it. So already, this is out for me. This is annoying already. So sorry, but that is out. HD recorder. Again, looks like a looks like a, a microphone here. Uh, again, upgrade to Pro. Okay, sorry, cancel. Uh, and uh, press record and stuff. Let's look at settings. It says M4A um, audio file. This is an upgraded stuff at the top here. Recording type. Uh, wave, okay, there we go. Uh, oh, you had to purchase it. Okay, so no. Okay, so this already out. Doesn't let me record the quality I want and it, you know, costs money to do that. So forget about that one. That is gone for me. I don't want to spend money on that right now. Uh, and then this one here, recorder, recorder. Okay, thank you. It says that it can uh, record the screen, so I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm not sure why it says record screen, but wave format, that is cool. Uh, sampling rate is 44,100. Okay, that is also fine. Um, okay, honestly, like this just looks like a lot of work to figure out. So uh, it says record screen as well, which doesn't look like an, a voice recording app, so that is no good. Finally, voice record, we're gonna get through all 10 of these. Now this one here was actually highly recommended. I did see some pretty good reviews about this one. Uh, so this one here, uh, again, let's just look at settings. This looks pretty clean and clear. This one here, settings, okay and uh, recording into um, mp4 okay um, yes no that doesn't really seem like it's what i wanted mp3s no okay you know what there are a lot of settings on this and maybe someone would like to figure these out but honestly i don't want to figure these out 
So I guess that I guess that brings us to the end of our video here. I'm actually going to stop the recording on my phone here first. So let's just stop that. Okay. So I guess it all comes down to the ones that I preferred here. Now, um, first choice I would say is this. Um, you know, the voice record or the recorder app uh, was a TW recorder. That one I think was definitely the simplest. I'm not sure how it sounded. You guys tell me which one you think sounded the best. But I like this TW recorder. Thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the other one that I also liked um, was uh, the uh, voice recorder. Uh, this one here that was the uh, the one that just had the simple looking microphone. I'd really like that one as well. Voice recorder light, I believe it was. Uh, and you can also get the paid, but the voice recorder light works just fine. And of course, the regular old built-in voice memos app, also a really good choice. So I'd say those three are probably my top choices. And if I were to choose just one, I would probably choose uh, that um, uh, PCM or TW uh, uh, recorder, the one with the little uh, disc you know, button here or whatever. I like this one. This one is really simple, gives you good control, and I believe it is also free. So hopefully that was helpful to you. I know that this video went a little bit longer than I normally would, uh, but I wanted to give you a demonstration uh, of some of the apps that I found uh, that were working with iOS and uh, also to let you hear what they sound like as well and also from my recommendations. So let me know if you have any questions about any of that stuff that I just talked about or if you have any suggestions for apps for iOS or even for Android because I don't use an Android device uh, so I'm not really sure which apps are good. If you have ones that you've tried before and you like, please leave those in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, thank you very much and we will see you in in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.